Hello everyone, how are you today? Are you ready for today's workshop? So, before we start, let us introduce ourselves. So, our group consists of five members, which is Jeka, Venta, Salva, Rafa, and Danes. Today, we are going to talk about Canva. So, what is Canva? Canva is an easy-to-use graphic design tool that you use right in your browser. It allows you to make professional-looking images and graphics and offers tons and tons of free and wonderful only resources. You can start with common templates for your social media profiles, common post types, printed documents, and even candle book covers. And then next is the history of Canva. The Canva journey began back in 2007 when Melanie Perkins was studying at the University of Western Australia. Melanie taught students how to use programs such as InDesign and Photoshop, programs that people found hard to learn and even harder to use. After coming up an idea for an online tool to create school yearbooks, Melanie and Canva CEO founder took out a loan and brought in a great tech team to build fusion books. They didn't really know what they were in, but thankfully they learned a lot, including how to sell, how to recruit, and how to build a business. Canva has a great team of designers, developers, artists, marketers, investors, and advisors. They have come from unexpected places, some left jobs, some left their own startups, and some even cut around the world trip short to join the team. And then next is the things that you can create in Canva. In Canva, you can create a lot of things, such as poster. And there are the examples of poster that you can create in Canva. And then next is logo, presentation, Flyer, Infographic, Resume, Certificate, Brochure, and Invitation. And then you may curious, is Canva free to use? And the answer is, Canva uses a free view business model. You can use it for free, but you need to upgrade to the premium version to unlock more features. For instance, the premium version of Canva allows you to choose more design templates and you will also be able to create many folders to organize your designs. Now, we will talk about the benefits of Canva. We have found five benefits here and the first one, Canva is mostly free. It has many fonts and graphics that don't cost anything to use. You can make an account and do not have to pay for a subscription. The second one, Canva has preset sizes and templates for social media posts, postcards, posters, cards, flyers, etc. Having preset options can save someone so much time when trying to figure out specific dimensions for their creation. Just click on the type of content you want to create and they already have everything sized and designed for you. And the third one, Canva has an easy to share option. If you are working with a team and you want to send a design you are working on to another person, Canva has the option. It's as easy as entering in email addresses and sending it with their team. Canva allows you to share designs with a thousand people before you have to pay. This makes it so much easier for people to conduct edits to your design if needed and give you feedback. And the fourth one, Canva automatically saves all your designs. This is beneficial because you can access your designs or past designs anywhere you go. You do not have to save your designs to a flash drive 
or be restricted to only using a certain computer. This also means you do not need to worry if your computer malfunction or shuts down because your hard work will be safe. And the last, Canva allows you to upload images or logos to a template. If you are working on a design for a company and you need to use a specific logo, Canva allows you to easily upload the logo for free. It will also save your logo or image upload in your account drive if you need to use it again in the future. Besides having benefits, Canva also have drawbacks, and we have found three drawbacks here. The first one, Canva is time consuming in searching the right measurement. Canva is most known for its great variety of templates and designs in all shapes and sizes. Even though Canva offers this great selection, you need to search the right measurement first. Why not adjust the size afterward? Because there is no option to do so in Canva. And the second one, the missing rulers. In order to create a consistent brand style, you will definitely need some guidelines. Repeatedly applying a logo or object in the same position precisely requires a lot of energy and time. You will find the lilac lines appearing from time to time while dragging an object. Unfortunately, these lines and grids are still not precise enough to achieve a pixel perfect alignment. And the last one, the limited export or download options. Canva only consists of the main file types such as PNG, JPG, and PDF. Lately, they expanded their file option by a file called PDF Print. However, this setting is still not using the CMYK format, which departments for packaging design and magazine designs depend on. Moreover, Canva is using very low file sizes that may add to the risk of pixelation. Alright, so now let's move on to the purpose of Canva. Since Canva is a graphic design platform, it has purpose to allow users to create social media graphics, presentations, posters, and other visual content with variety of templates to avoid boring designs and make it interesting to engage more audience. And the next is the implementation of Canva. Canva can be used to create variety of visual contents for certain purpose. One of the implementation of Canva is creating teaching and learning media, such as infographics. Infographic is a visual image, such as a chart or a diagram, used to represent information or data which can be used in teaching and learning English. For example, presenting the material about manner of articulation in English phonetics and phonology class, or presenting the story analysis in literature class. You must be curious about how to operate Canva, right? Here, we have prepared a tutorial of how to create an infographic using Canva. So without any further ado, let's move on to the tutorial. The first one, go to the Google Chrome and type canva.com, then enter. Before you start to make the infographic, you have to log in your Google account into the Canva. The next step is click create a design there are so many designs we can use, but we choose the infographic one. After that, we choose the templates, whatever templates that you want. Feel free to choose because it is free to use. Then, you can start to make your own infographic. 
in this case, you can zoom the screen so you can see your work clearly. We choose to make an English idioms infographic. And the first English idiom is the lights are on, but nobody's home, which means that to describe a person who isn't very smart. And you can change the font size and the font of your word by clicking the font option in the top right of your worksheet. You can continue making your infographic. You can add some picture by clicking the photos option in the left side of your worksheet. And also, change your infographic background with another picture or colors by clicking the background option in the left side of your worksheet. After you finish, you can download your infographic by clicking the download symbol in the top right of your worksheet. Then, you choose what type of files that you want to download it. We recommend you to download your infographic in the form of PDF file. Your infographic is ready to be done. Alright, so that's the tutorial of how to create an infographic using Canva. So that's all from us. Please feel free to ask if there are any questions. Thank you.